UMS operations. The watchkeeping rounds at sea is the same for a UMS ship as for a normal watch ship. There is a UMS checklist which must be filled during takeover and handover of a watch. Watch takeover is done once in 24 hours in the morning between 7 to 8 a.m. Take a round of the engine room before you take over your watch, preferably before half an hour. Clarify amicably any doubts with the outgoing watch engineer. Sign on the logbook together with the outgoing engineer. During the watch, you will be involved in some maintenance jobs, but your priority is still watch keeping. And any alarm is to be attended by you. You have to fill up the engine room logbook before noon. The logbook will be handed over to the chief engineer for his noon calculations. You will unman the engine room during lunch time. A UMS checklist should be filled up before you leave the engine room. This list is comprehensive and you must fill it up honestly. Once satisfied, you can leave the engine room, but not before informing the duty officer on bridge and changing the selector switch from engine control room to your cabin. Mark an arrow on the switch. The entire ship staff must leave the engine room before you can put it on UMS. Remember, the engine room is totally unmanned after you put it on UMS. Any alarm during the unmanned period should be attended by you. After lunchtime, when you come back to the engine room, inform bridge and change the watch selector switch from your cabin to engine control room. After the day's work, between 1700 to 1800 hours, the engine room will be unmanned again. You should follow the same procedures as you did in the lunchtime. All the crew is present in the daytime, but it is the night watch when it is fully your responsibility. You have to take readings once in the night time, preferably around 10 pm, to ensure all engine room parameters are satisfactory. As you enter the engine room, do not forget to switch on the dead man's alarm. Mark the label dead man's alarm. Inform bridge and change the watch selector switch from your cabin to engine control room. Take a complete round and check whether you have correctly filled in all the parameters in the logbook. Additionally, ensure that there are no abnormalities like leakages, abnormal noises or unusual smell. This enables you to take action on time which will avert disasters. Fill up the logbook and duly sign it. As you fill up, notice if there are any abnormalities between the two readings, afternoon and now. Once satisfied, you can leave the engine room, but not before informing the duty officer on bridge and changing the selector switch from engine control room to your cabin. Any alarm in the night time is to be recorded in the logbook with time and action taken to rectify the fault. In case of any doubt during the night time, when you are on a round in the engine room, don't hesitate to call your senior engineer, second or chief, which will be clearly mentioned in the standing orders by the chief engineer. Your round the next day should begin one hour before the other watchkeeper takes over from you. You must hand over amicably to the relieving engineer true conditions of all machinery, any abnormalities that you faced during your watch and finally sign the logbook.